Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be optimizing our PC because I'll be honest, I've kind of been neglecting my PC for the past couple months. I haven't even updated it in a couple seasons. So basically we're going to do a full system tune up and make our system a lot faster, drastically increase the FPS, improve uh, input delay and a bunch of other things. So if you guys want to see a video like this, drop a sub, drop a like, it'll be a lot of fun. But to start off, guys, uh, I just want to show you how bad uh, our input delay is. So you'll just see there at the top left, that's our input delay. It's currently hovering around 10 to 13. It's actually quite high, uh, which is terrible. <laughs> I'll be honest, like that's that's really awful. So the way this video is going to go for system optimization, we're going to start with the very easiest things first and work our way to the more complex things. But there's a ton of awesome things you can take advantage really quick. That's just quick tweaks to your settings that'll give you a huge FPS boost. Now, firstly, the most important thing is to make sure that you have the best um, settings in here. For instance, this top one, window display mode, you want to have this on full screen. Um, there's no reason to have it on windowed full screen unless you just have a really good PC. Always keep it on full screen. You'll get the least input delay there. Um, there's a bunch of other resolutions. You'll probably want to keep it on the highest one unless you're on a very low end PC. Then I would try the middle one. But if you go all the way down to the lowest one, you're going to see significant decrease in visibility for uh, targets in long range. So usually the middle, if you have a low PC or just the highest, if you're on a, a decent PC is what's best. Other than that, guys, you can mess around with some of these settings here. Um, some people like to go down to 88% for 3D resolution. I think that that's pretty good because it will increase your uh, FPS a bit. 88%, um, I don't know why, but that's like a sweet spot that gives you a good PC FPS boost. Uh, textures, a lot of people just run low. I do that as well. If you have more of a higher end graphics card, I would maybe try high. High seems to be a good option. Meshes, you will have an option to change this to low as well when you're out of the game. Let me go ahead and leave the game. So low on the meshes is gonna increase your performance. I keep mine on low. Uh, some people have qualms with the way the builds look, but I really don't care. I just keep it on low for the best FPS. Um, other than that, guys, performance mode all the way. You wanna make sure that's on. Uh, keep your V-Sync off. And those are the main things in here. You can definitely play around with your colorblind settings. However, it won't make any difference on your FPS. All right, guys, so that basically covers the settings in game. Now, everything else I'm going to tackle is out of your game. Uh, just some quick tune ups of your PC, make your system run even quicker and just overall really help you out here. By the way, guys, it just wouldn't be an FPS boost video if I didn't mention Noping, which is a sponsor on this channel. And Noping is really awesome. You can get a free trial in the description down below. Essentially, what it's going to do is optimize your network and give you a faster connection to Epic Games servers. It works for Epic Games uh, Fortnite, but it also works for hundreds of other titles. Definitely go check it out, guys. It's a free download, free trial. And honestly, in some cases, you can see it cut your ping in half, which is amazing. And also, no ping gives you an option to boost your FPS. But I digress. Go check it out. I spent too much time on this. Well, for starters, guys, you can come down here to your search bar, type in game. You'll get an option at the very top that says game mode settings. Click on that. Now, a lot of people aren't aware of this. Windows 10 comes built in with a game mode. What this does is optimize your PC for play. It does automatically help improve your performance while gaming and it's just a huge help. So make sure you have that on. It's off by default if you've never touched that before. All right, that was plain and simple, right? So let's move into the rest of the easy things that we can do. A lot of people aren't aware of this either. On your PC, you can have tons of stuff running in your background. But when you're on your desktop, you see that nothing's open, right? I have no windows here. Well, if you go to your bottom and at the very right hand side, you see this up arrow. This is going to show hidden icons. This is all the stuff running in the background on your PC. So as you can see, we got a bunch of different icons here, the things I'm not even using. Um, you can close out of your Steam if you have that. I have I had malware bytes in there. Just close that uh, battle.net. That is a different game. We're going to go ahead and close that Skype. We don't need to be signed into Skype. So really just close anything that you're not using. That's the main goal here. You want to have as, as little of things as possible. And you know what? If you have Fortnite open, you don't even need Epic Games Launcher. It's just using some stuff in your PC that you don't need. Some other simple settings that we can jump into is adjusting your appearance on your PC. This will actually boost your FPS uh, a nice way. So click on adjust the appearance of performance on Windows. 
when you have that you can actually make sure everything's unchecked i don't like to do that per se i like to go to best or appearance and just uncheck some of the things that i don't really need so i'll show you what mine ends up looking like so this is how i end up keeping mine uh I really the only things that i really enjoy is being able to see thumbnails so i keep the two thumbnail options here and uh smooth edges of screen fonts you'll want to have this on because text just looks really weird if you don't have this on um, after you do all that you can click apply uh, it'll take a second for it to update and uh, that will help with your performance the next thing we want to go ahead and update is your power settings people often overlook the importance of this but even if you're on a desktop which isn't a laptop your power settings are very important and the reason for that is it's going to dedicate specific power to certain things do you want to set that power to be more for performance or more conserving for your battery um on a on a desktop a gaming pc i just go full throttle and i go with whichever is best for performance um, i chose high performance because um, it's going to favor your performance but use less energy uh, but may use more energy and there's other ones here some people are on uh, balanced i think is the default um, or power saver you definitely don't want to be on power saver because that does the opposite saves energy by reducing your computer's performance so uh, just anything with performance and you should be good in here all right guys next up is your graphic settings these are so vital i don't know how people don't change these ever but you'll want to type in graphics and you'll see it here at the top graphic settings we click on that and you'll get this window here now you'll notice it says hardware accelerated gpu scheduling not everybody has this option it does actually depend on uh, some of your hardware but if you have this option, always make sure it's on. It's going to reduce latency and improve performance. Uh, very good setting to have on. So this is the, the one that everybody should have. Graphics performance preference. Um, this is setting Fortnite to high performance for graphics quality and for performance quality. But it doesn't just pop up in here. So I'm going to show you guys how to add it. First, we're going to go ahead and remove it. All right. So to find it, you're going to go to browse. And I'm already located in it, but let's go all the way back to, uh, let's go to your PC. First, you're gonna select the hard drive that you have Fortnite on, which is C. Then we're gonna go into program files. Then we're gonna choose Epic Games. We're gonna choose Fortnite, uh, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64. And here you'll find your Fortnite client. You wanna choose the one that just says shipping, not the underscore BE or the underscore EAC, shipping. So you select that, you click add, it pops up in here, you get an options button now and you click on that and now you can choose high performance. This will just basically give you that much more dedicated power from your PC to basically uh, prioritize performance on your PC. So now we're actually going to jump into your graphics card settings. Now if you guys don't have an Nvidia graphics card like a GTX or an RTX, I'm going to leave two links in the description, one for AMD graphics cards, another for Intel graphics cards, and follow those steps in there because they're the best graphics gaming PC settings that you can have. But anyways, guys, open up your NVIDIA control panel. I'm going to go through all the best settings in here. I've been tweaking this for like five years. So anyways, first off, we're going to start at the very top option, adjust image settings. Now you do want to go to this last bulletin, use my preference emphasizing and go to performance. This is going to again favor performance. We want to make sure everything in your PC aligns with using performance versus quality. After you save that, go ahead and go to manage 3D settings. It's the second option there. And there's really only a few things we need to make sure of. So the main takeaway here, guys, is you just want to make sure everything's turned off. Image sharpening off. Ambient occlusion is turned off and it's a tropic filtering off you know just all these make sure they're off the only one you want on is cuda gpus you want this set to all or the graphics card in there um, and then the rest of them off until you get to power management mode now it's a good thing i'm looking at this here because it is set by default to optimal power we need to put that on prefer maximum performance that's going to favor performance again, which is what we're we're trying to do here. The next one we want to go ahead and update is texture filtering quality. We want to change this one to high performance, very bottom. And those are really it, guys. Those are your main ones. So now you can click apply, uh, but that's basically it. I mean, you can go ahead and click on change resolution. Here you want to make sure that whatever um, display you're using for your game, in this case, my Lenovo, 
is set to the max refresh rate, which is 240 hertz on this PC, on this monitor. So make sure you're set to your correct refresh rate. So guys, those are your main settings. I really hope that this improved your performance on your PCs. If you're still having any issues with your PCs, definitely comment down below. I'm actually gonna be doing a video where I react to my subscribers' PC builds, their issues, and I try to fix them in the next video. Should be a fun video, because we're gonna talk about like 50 different builds that you guys have and different issues that you guys have, whether that's input delay, um, internet lag, uh, PC low FPS, stuttering, you name it. Whatever issue you got going on, I wanna hear it down in the comment section. But for everybody else, thank you so much. I'll catch you guys in the very next video. Peace out for now.